read news every day. News that's informative, but rarely encouraging. The Intermountain Christian Newspaper aims to change that. They present the news you need to know, from what's going on in your community to your world, with encouraging words, motivation, and the resources you need to make positive changes in your life. What is your local government doing that you need to know about? What's happening in your community you need to be a part of? Whether it's a story from your neighborhood, a national story, or an encouraging word, you'll find biblical issues of everyday life in the Intermountain Christian Newspaper. Intermountain Christian News is produced and supported by the work and donations of individuals and churches. You'll find it at churches, Christian bookstores, by subscription, and online at imcnews.org. To find out more about supporting this local resource, go online at imcnews.org or call Intermountain Christian News in Boise, Idaho at 208-703-8688. The Intermountain Christian News, a voice sharing the truth on matters dear to people's hearts. Are you tired of the secular news? Do you want a Christian view of politics? Do you want to know what is going on in your Christian community? Your wait is over. Welcome to the Intermountain Christian News Hour. Here is your host, Dr. Anthony Harper. I'm Dr. Anthony Harper here with the Intermountain Christian News Hour, making a difference. Uh, We are a voice of truth, giving Christians this opportunity to, to share commentary and so much more. And my good friend... Gina Gibson is joining me from Wyoming. Thank you, Gina, for the National Day of Prayer. Well, thank you for having me on the broadcast again. I know it's been a couple weeks, I think, since we have been able to touch base because of our our busy schedules, but um, it's good to come back on today and just visit about, you know, these last days leading up to our election, Dr. Harper. This is a pretty exciting time. It's quite a, quite a, um, it's exciting, but also very tense. Uh, you know, uh, Christians are struggling with this issue, this election, and uh, um, and I pray uh, along with you as well that that Christians will turn out and the largest uh, turnout we've ever had. I think in be great in um, in U.S. history to for Christians to make a difference, and they can. Um, Yes, and I know that, you know, um, Franklin Graham, we've talked about him often and how he just completed the uh, 50-state tour with Decision America, you know, just in October, and he had gone state to state, capital to capital, encouraging all of us to vote. And I know that many of those um, those places where he held the rallies, those capitals were well attended. We were We were pretty well attended for our population here in Wyoming, I think. I heard that um, that Cheyenne, Wyoming, had the the best attendance per capita um, per state because you know we're small. <laughs> so, um, but per capita, we had the best showing as far as people coming to the rally. And I know in other states that there were you know most places thousands of people that got to hear Franklin challenge them to pray and challenge them to vote. So my prayer is that people have not forgotten and, um, you know, that they are educated about how they vote. You know, I, I did some research on, um, the vote. Uh, I went and voted early today here in Laramie because I'll be traveling and won't be here on election day, but I did some research before I voted to make sure that I knew, you know, who I was voting for. And I think that's very important. It, it is, and you know, a lot of great information about this election is on um, the Decision America Tour website, uh, decisionamericatour.com. dot com. Check that out for the issues and why it's so crucial to vote. And um, I know you're with uh, National Day of Prayer Mountain State specifically, Gina, and people can learn more about you through um, your Facebook page, and should encourage people to like you your Facebook page, and then check out the nationaldayofprayer.org website as well. Yes, and thank you for continuing to promote that. We do have new people that are liking our page. And, you know, we have had many ministries across the nation. Uh, I know I think we talked about this on a previous broadcast, that on September 30th, you know, a lot of prayer ministries decided to that they would unite as uh, just a prayer force for the nation in 40 days of prayer leading to the election. And so um, I have been posting every day, you know, the prayer points that are coming out of that. I've been posting them on the, the National Day of Prayer Mountain State page um, so that people could be praying in agreement. We have actually had people in our prayer room in Miami at 
since uh, September 30th, we've had at least one person here praying for an hour. Some days we've had three or four people praying for an hour, you know, each each of them praying for an hour. So we're excited to see people, um, you know, come out to pray. And I am making a big deal of it in the community. I posted on our community calendar in the newspaper that we are praying for the nation. And today I ran into a Laramie citizen that thanked me you know, for all that prayer that she was seeing posted in the local newspaper, because that's just bearing witness that that we are praying, you know. I know it gets heavy sometimes, but, you know, there are many, many people praying, and I want to encourage our listeners with that. Yes, they definitely do, do uh, need an encouragement, and uh, uh, so much, uh, so many uh, wonderful, helpful resources you've got through your uh, Facebook page there and um, the National Day of Prayer website. I'm Dr. Anthony Harper here with the Intermountain Christian News Hour, wanting to share the gospel message with you. It is clear that you hear the message and respond as soon as possible. In John 3.16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever would believe in him would not perish, but have everlasting life. Please humble yourself today and admit your sins and ask Jesus to forgive you of your sins and be your Savior today before it's too late. If you died today without Jesus, you would be lost forever in hell, which does exist, contrary to what you've heard from Oprah Winfrey and so many others. Please respond today. To learn more about having a relationship with Jesus, you can check out our website, imcnews.org, and at the top left of our website, you'll see a Who is Jesus uh, banner ad, so you can click on that for more information. Also, you can call 24-7, this toll-free number, one triple eight need him and there's also a website www.needhim.org once again that 24 7 uh, telephone number toll free one triple eight need him are you tired of the secular news do you want a christian view of politics do you want to know what is going on in your christian community your wait is over. Welcome to the Intermountain Christian News Hour. Here is your host, Dr. Anthony Harper. Uh, so, um, you know, for our listeners, uh, definitely, you know, Tuesday, next November 8th, is the voting day, the election day, and uh would encourage all those listening to um, be in a serious prayer and have all your friends pray and to get out and vote and, and uh, pray for God's guidance about who to vote for. Uh, we definitely need to be directed by the Holy Spirit here, and uh, this is a very, uh, very sensitive time, uh, Gina. And God willing, we will uh, be celebrating next uh, Tuesday Election Day. Um, you know that that is my prayer, and I, um, you know, often remind people that our salvation is not in the White House, but no. we know that if if the election uh, goes one way rather than the other, um, there could be some very dark days ahead for the United States and America. And um, I know, you know, that some have said, you know, America has pulled away from God. You know, God hasn't gone anywhere. We've pulled away from Him. But I, I do believe with all the prayer we're seeing that many, many people are realizing that we must return to those um, those godly roots that our founding fathers established the nation. They were being guided by the Lord when the Constitution, you know, the Declaration of Independence, those were really uh, documents that were being inspired from the, by the Lord. And so I, I see a lot of folks um, here just praying much more than they ever have. Um, you know, my prayer, of course, is that if, if this election comes out in the way that, that many of us hope, um, and, you know, that America really does turn back, that the church won't just go back to sleep and stop praying. Right. You know, we must continue to be alive and well and repenting and, and witnessing, bearing witness of the gospel. You know, that's my prayer for my community all the time. I want to see the people of my city saved. And so, you know, just being um, being a witness out there and how we treat people, but sharing the love of Christ with people, you know. And um, sometimes I see Christians using their social media in very, very negative ways. I use my social media to post scripture, to encourage people in prayer, to let people know I'm praying for them, you know. And I understand that we do get angry at how things go, but 
you know, when we get into the ways of the world and think we're going to fight these battles, you know, um, with with anger and mean a mean spirit, I don't believe that God can bless that. It, it has to be, we have to speak the truth, but we have to also do it with the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, yes, we do. And so, you know, part of love is discipline. And, um, and I know God talks about if, if he doesn't discipline us, then we're not his children. So, uh, obviously, uh, the, the role of discipline is so important. And, and we, we can, we can, we do pray for our leaders. Um, I can see also the issue of discipline is holding them accountable. And uh, we don't have to be mean spirited to hold them accountable. Just share the truth and love, you know, and be persistent in seeking truth and, and justice, and I, I think about that uh, widow in the scripture that that uh, Jesus talks about that was before an unjust judge, and she was so persistent, and uh, the judge got worn out by her daily uh, coming for justice, and and uh, granted her request. So it'd be great if we could be persistent like her and seeking justice. Yes, I agree, and, you know, I, I would just encourage people, I know that you get worried, but just keep persisting and praying for the nation. I don't believe that that God is done. Um, you know, last week, 250 prayer leaders gathered for the National Prayer Assembly in Washington, D.C. for two days of fasting and prayer, and, um, mm-hmm. you know, heard reports coming from there as well. So, um, you know, America is still on God's radar when we see uh, the Holy Spirit moving upon us, as you say, to cry out, just to cry out and persist in crying out. I believe God still wants to do something. Now, when God tells us all to stop praying, then we know, you know, that that he's going to, you know, judgment has come. But I feel like there still is that window, and that's why so many are so um, vigorously praying right now for um, this election. And, you know, one of the, the neat things I wanted to highlight today, I just learned on Monday that the Capitol Hill Prayer Partners out of Washington, D.C. Um, started a national Bible readathon via conference call on um, October 31st. And from October 31st through um, November 11th, every hour there are people on that line just reading the Word of God out loud. And their goal would be Genesis to Revelation. And um, so National Day of Prayer will be participating in that in, the, in this week. And we have some of our folks from the Mountain States that will get on that conference call. And they will um, be reading the Word of God. And other people get on and join them. And they take turns reading. But that's going on, you know, to get the whole Word of God read out loud. And I thought that was pretty awesome. And so I'm going to share these conference call numbers, I think, on the Facebook. And, and I'll share share them with you as well, Dr. Harper, because it's a lot of numbers <laughs> you know, okay. to share. Um, but also, I wanted to let people know, and we have highlighted this before, that um, on the first Thursday of every Every month, the National Day of Prayer holds what we call the Pray for America call, and I have uh, represented the Mountain States on that call, um, usually at least once a year. Um, This year it will be twice again, but in November, um, my friend Sarah Lowe from um, South Central region of the United States will be moderating the call on Thursday, November 3rd. And that call goes from 8 p.m. Eastern to 10 p.m. Eastern. So in the mountain time, it's 6 to 8. So it's a pretty pretty doable time. And again, I'll post all of these phone numbers. There are so many great um, opportunities right now um, to pray with others, you know, to pick up even your phone for folks that feel comfortable, um, you know, getting on a conference call. And, you know, for folks who are listening that say, say, you know, I've never gotten on a conference call, It's very easy to do, and if you hit star six on your phone, you can mute yourself so you can just listen without being heard, you know, and still participate, because I know sometimes people get a little bit nervous, and they think, well, somebody's going to call on me on that call, and I'm going to have to pray out loud, Um, but the moderators are always very uh, kind, and they they don't do that unless somebody wants to pray out loud, and so... Um, and then the last call that I just learned about today is that there is a call right now help happening every day um, until Election Day, um, and it's happening at 7 a.m. Mountain Time to 7.15, 
And I just read the testimony that several days ago, 100,000 people got on the call to pray from across the nation on that call and that they couldn't take any more callers. <laughs> so uh, I think that's a, that's a, an encouraging sign, Dr. Harper, of 100,000 people really did get on that call and pray. Wow. That's, that is wonderful. Yes. And we've got, we've got uh, so much happening here. Anything else that you'd like to share with our listeners about upcoming events? Well, you know, no upcoming events right now because, of course, I'm just so focused on just the election. Um, you know, this month we're going to, of course, be celebrating Thanksgiving, but I don't think any of us are thinking quite that way yet. We just want to get past November the 8th. And um, so I, I am not aware of anything. I'm looking forward to receiving the newspaper from you, hopefully in Laramie at my house today and uh, sharing that with, with others. And um, and what's the update on, I, I thought we had talked about you going to Israel sometime soon. Is that still something that's going to happen? Um, well, God willing, it will. I, I received confirmation from the Israel government press office that the prime minister's meeting is still scheduled. Uh, uh, schedule in December, and um, and that I've been invited to attend that. I think in light, uh, uh, Gina, of what's been happening with the UN, uh, that recently voted to um, to uh, you know not acknowledge that the Jewish people have a tie to the Temple Mount, uh, that angered a lot of Israeli people, um, and uh, it led to a very uh, assertive right on the Temple Mount to pray. So. There were many Jews on the on the Temple Mount praying, uh, oh, whereas see. before yeah. the Muslims would threaten, you know, uh, riot, whatever, if they were up there, you know. But now that the Jews are getting more bold, and I hope this is a trend to daily for the Jewish people uh, to be up on the Temple Mount in open prayer because they have a right to be there because it is their land. So yes. Yes, it is their land, and, and that's another, um, you know, we often talk about, yes, pray for the United States, but pray for the peace of Jerusalem, that's what God says, and so we want to encourage, um, you know, our listeners to do that as well, and uh, there's some great, there are some great websites that um, help us to know how to pray, you know, Intercessor Show is a great website, um, Christians United for Israel is a great website. And I know you know of others as well where folks could find information about how to pray for Israel. And um, the times we're living in are tense, but, but they're exciting because I think we all sense that, you know, we're winding down to the time when our Lord Jesus is going to make an appearance. But again, until that time, we want to make the most of every day, every opportunity to share our faith with someone. Oh, we, we need to do that. And, you know, along with uh, regarding Israel, um, I would appreciate people praying for me. I am a member of the White House press pool and uh, opportunities to be in the White House talking with uh, White House officials, other news reporters, but in Jerusalem with Israel leaders. And if anyone wants to help me get there, um, I'm, with God's help, uh, have, I have courage to, uh, to talk about uh, questions of spiritual nature that need to be heard. Um, yeah. Many news reporters are fearful uh, bringing up any questions, have any spiritual content, and and if we ignore that, then we're going to be in trouble. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so we need to keep you in prayer as well as you take these important trips. Oh yes, I sure need prayer for God's guidance, for favor, and open doors, and and asking these questions with leaders uh, that need to be asked. And um, you know, I'm thinking about the kind of similarities, uh, uh, Gina, between Israel and America. Um, when Israel left and abandoned God, God abandoned Israel, and then terrorists, terrorists came into their country. And um, yes, it was. Yes, a, it was, we've seen that same cycle in the United States. Oh, we are. We're we're, we're in a serious problem, and, and I think it was Dr. MacArthur that said there is no national protection if there is no national repentance. Correct, and, and I agree with that wholeheartedly. And, um, you know, and that's why I think so many of us are really believing and praying for another spiritual awakening where folks would recognize that they are sinners and that they need to repent and they need to turn to the Lord Jesus as the only way to salvation. You know, he is not, he's not an option. He is the way. And, um, 
you know, and for us as Christians not to be afraid to share with people um, how much Jesus loves them, how he died for them, and how there is a need to ask for forgiveness from our sins and to turn to him. Because, you know, I don't want to leave this world with regrets. I don't want to face him someday and have him say, you didn't do all you could have done to share me with other people. And so, you know, my prayer every day is that I can be his hands, be his mouth, (laughs) you know, go out and just share the message. Oh, we need to do that. It's so so an urgent time. And Gina, I thank you for uh, uh, joining me today. Uh, I've been uh, um, talking with uh, Gina Gibson of the National Day of Prayer Mountain States. Uh, I would encourage you to like their Facebook page and check out the nationaldayofprayer.org website and then uh, the, the the election uh, once again to uh, to remind everyone November 8 uh, to get out and vote if you want to get some more information about why this vote is so crucial check out the Decision America Tour website with Franklin Graham and that's decisionamericatour.com uh, thank you Gina uh, for joining me from Wyoming uh, the wonderful state of Wyoming Well, thank you, and I would love to close us out with a prayer today, if I may. I appreciate that. Thank you, Gina. Well, Lord, thank you for this time today, and um, thank you for this season that we're in leading up to the elections and the, the many, many people across the nation who have been moved by your Spirit to pray. God, I believe that you're hearing us, and we continue to pray for our country to turn back to you. Um, I lift up Dr. Harper in all of these things that you have assigned him to do, that there would be open doors, that there would be favor, that there would be finances, God, for the trips for Washington, D.C. and for Israel, that you would continue to bless the work of the Intermountain Christian News and bless the work of the National Day of Prayer Task Force as we mobilize prayer in the nation as well, God, and um, and and we we um, share with folks the need to repent and to turn to you. So um, I just pray that our voice would be strong um, during these days, that we would not be afraid, Lord, but that you would empower your people. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. Amen. Thank you, Gina, and I'll look forward to talking with you later and, and have a wonderful trip, uh, a safe travel to Florida. All right. Thanks so much, Dr. Harper. We'll talk again soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye Bye-bye. I'm Dr. Anthony Harper here with the Intermountain Christian News Hour, an outreach of the Intermountain Christian Newspaper, making a difference. And and we need uh, your support uh, of good news. Check out our website at imcnews.org, where you can download our newspaper and make your tax-deductible donation to support our uh, voice, our Christian concerns at the White House and in Israel and uh, other places. Uh, Do go online to uh, make your donation and support uh, this important news ministry, the only uh, evangelical Christian newspaper of its kind, a grassroots newspaper in our Intermountain regions, spanning from Colorado over to Reno, Nevada. And uh, we uh, currently have needs to uh, cover our uh, our travel expenses for White House and Israel trips. Uh, And also, we need a donated minivan, a uh, vehicle, a good condition, low mileage, uh, air conditioning, and automatic transmission. For delivery of our newspapers and other news events that we uh, go to 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 cover, uh, representing Christian concerns, so please uh, make your donation at Tax Deductible online at imcnews.org just by clicking on the Donate banner ad that you see there. Thank you for your support of our good newspaper and for your prayers, and most importantly, uh, that we can continue to be a voice, a voice of truth for Christians in our Intermountain region. For the glory of God. Oh, my God.